Overnight success kind of caught us by surprise. I do apologize for the inconvenience. It's pretty chaotic at Moonshine Creek Distillery. They're making that good taste of Ganong's chicken bones into a, a savory drink. The Clark brothers had no idea their chicken bones liqueur made from the Ganong brothers' hard cinnamon candy would be such a hit. 2,500 bottles sold out overnight. So why is this Christmas candy creating such a craze? Let's backtrack way back to 1885 in St. Stephen, New Brunswick. They were invented by a Ganong candy maker by the name of Frank Sparhawk. Brianna Ganong is a fifth generation CEO. It's kind of like the holidays aren't the holidays unless I have my chicken bones and we do hear that a lot. Now candy makers are making extra chicken bones just so Moonshine Creek can make more liqueur. It's a very uh, handcrafted process. Exactly as they did in 1885, they knead the mixture, add the color and run it through the chicken bone stretcher. Then comes the chocolate center. And they roll it up like a big jelly roll. A giant chicken bone, hand pulled through a machine until it spits out the tiny treats. There are so many stories from people with an emotional connection to the candy. Maybe they met their first love around, you know, in a social setting where chicken bones were there. Or maybe how uh, they have to send gift packages to a loved one overseas and they always want chicken bones. When the new batch finally went on sale, the lineup at the liquor store went on and on just after 7 a.m. on a Tuesday. I got mine. Oh, look at that! 6,000 bottles sold out in a matter of minutes. You're welcome, yeah. Merry, Merry, Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too. If you're wondering how it tastes, yeah. tastes like chicken bones, but mm. only with a little kick. The remaining burning question why the heck are they called chicken bones? We can only speculate. Some would say because it is kind of a long um, kind of candy that has a marrow type chocolate center that maybe that was why. So it continues to be a bit of a Christmas mystery. But this year, one that's creating extra holiday spirit. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Waterville, New Brunswick.